Bright sunlight can be seen as a photography hindrance, similar to night photography. We were also taught that bright, direct sun would be a complete nuisance to use while taking photos. Don't fret if those bright sunny rays are pounding down during a photo shoot session. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a few tweaks here and there that'll help you capture a great photo under the sun. Let's go ahead and discuss a little bit about the camera settings for a sunny day. Number one, set your camera to manual mode. Number two, lower your ISO to 100. Number three, set your shutter speed between 1 100th to 1 250th of a second. Number four, close your aperture to F16. Number five, shoot in raw. And number six, choose an auto white balance. Typically, bright sunlight can make your model squint, or you'll get a complete whiteout. Photography 101 says to have your back against the light to get that pretty glow. Speaking of Photography 101, what else does it say about sunlight? Well, let's go ahead and discuss a little bit about golden hour. This happens twice a day and is just one hour before sunset and one hour after sunrise. You'll get more shadows and warmer light during these hours, and that bright sunlight shouldn't bother you during those times. Now shade will always be your friend. Shade is caused by trees, buildings, or any objects blocking the sun. If you don't see any, you can be creative and make some for yourself. Editing. Editing will help immensely when shooting during those sunny days. During post-production, you can enhance the colors and fix brightness. You can also try a black and white edit to play around with contrast, which mostly revolves around the light and dark. Proper camera settings will also lend a hand while dealing with the bright sun. So here is the settings rundown. ISO. Typically, you'll set your camera ISO to low levels for bright light situations. This is done not only to prevent noise in your photos, but also ensure proper exposure values by not adding any unnecessary digital light to your photographs, which is what ISO is typically known for. Shutter speed. Faster shutter speed equates to darker photos and further freezing a subject in time. So you really don't want your shutter speed to be open for too long. The longer the shutter is open, the more light you're gonna allow in. Aperture. You wanna keep your aperture fairly closed up, so anywhere from 6.3 and up will do you justice in the bright sun. It'll also ensure sharp images all around based off of where you have your focus set to. White balance. You can choose an auto white balance if you're not confident in your abilities. If you can take the time to experiment, shoot manual by controlling the Kelvin or by shooting the other preset white balance modes. Alrighty, you've probably heard of this before, but the Sunny 16. The Sunny 16 rule has been around for so long, long before digital photography and light meters. Lucky for most modern shooters, your camera has a built-in light meter to help calculate the settings for you. If you opt out of the aperture and shutter priority modes and decide to go manual, use the Sunny 16 rule. Using this rule will prevent your camera from basing its settings on reflected light. For this rule, you'll set your aperture to f16, shutter speed to 100, and ISO to 100. You can experiment and tweak with the settings after that, but these settings are your best bet to start off with, especially if you're switching light conditions quickly. Reflectors. Reflectors are smart investments when shooting in bright sunlight. The purpose of photography reflectors is to reflect light and point the light towards darkness. Reflectors can also keep shadows away. Reflectors also come in a variety of sizes and colors. Different reflector colors will come in handy for different moods. White is the most neutral and best when you don't want to change the color of someone's clothing. Silver is another neutral color but will offer more brightness. Gold will give you warmer tones with a bronze look. And lastly, translucent reflectors are best to filter out harsh light. Lens hoods. A lens hood almost acts like a baseball cap. It will attach to your lens and act as a deterrent to the sun and unwanted glares. Most lenses come with them, but if you're not wanting to have that glare as a stylistic choice, definitely consider investing in a lens hood. And lastly, safety is always going to be first. The sun is gorgeous, warm, and makes most people feel good the minute they step into its rays. However, the sun is also dangerous. Always use sunblock, bring water to stay hydrated, and be sure to bring your favorite pair of sunglasses. Hopefully we shed some light and insight to you within regards to shooting during those bright days. With the tips we've shared to you, you'll be capturing those great summertime vibes through your photos in no time. If you found this video helpful and informative, as always, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for future tips and tricks in the photo and video game. And of course, this is Raf from BNC Camera, and I'll catch you guys and gals in another video.